And I was, in my mind, successful at that job because I really understood what a lot of the constituents were going through. I was homeless when I had my daughter at 19, so I know exactly what it's like to be homeless. I'm a homeowner now, thankfully, but I know the challenges of the economy changing because my husband works for NSR and unfortunately when the economy went, so did his overtime. So we had to readjust like many of the people in this community. On top of that, because we have so many children in a variety of education programs, we had to be completely involved. So I know what it's like to be a parent, but really not understand what it means to be involved with your children's education, but I understand the impact of it. My kids can't stand it, but they understand that we're doing it for the betterment of them later on in life. There's a lot of things that we can do in this district. We need to make sure that people have access to jobs. We need to create jobs. We need to build everyone up. I'm running and I'm asking for your support because I cannot do this alone. I won't ever say that this is my campaign. It is our campaign. My candidacy is our candidacy. Thank you. Joe, you're good with the bell. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you to the ward committee. Thank you to the people that have come here. And thank you, most of all, to my family and friends who have supported me throughout this. I'm a father of three Boston Public School students. I own a home here in this community. I, run, I own a small business. I run a small business in this community called the Galvin Group. It's a real estate business. I, I know what it is to make payroll and to not make payroll. I understand the struggles, and I suffer through some of the same struggles that you do. The mortgage payments, car payments, insurance payments, tuition payments, credit card payments. I have those same things, and I've lived through good times and bad times with those. I've always been committed to this community. I've worked tirelessly to make sure that this place is a better place for my children and your children. It's important for all of us to work together throughout the whole district. And that's what I think I bring to this. I've worked so long in this community from one end of it to the other that I think that's, that's the key. The person that is gonna be elected to this seat has to have tentacles reaching throughout this whole community. I want this job because I have a can-do attitude. I'll bring that to City Hall. I love what Dorchester has given to me. I love what Dorchester has to offer. And I love the people from Dorchester that are here tonight and the people that are in these streets. As a, as a guy working my way through college, I worked on these streets as a rubbishman picking up trash. I know all about what goes on here, okay? I deliver the newspapers here. And I just want to ask you, I want to tell you, on, on September 27th, we have an awesome opportunity to take control of what happens next in this community. I want to ask you on September 27th to vote for Craig Gallon. Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marty Hogan, and I am also a candidate for the District 3 City Council. Um, I come to you tonight as a candidate um, who has lived in this community for about seven years now. My wife and I moved here because it was too expensive to live anywhere else, and we were accepted uh, very well in this community. Um, I have uh, my mother in this community now, which I'm very proud of, and my mother just bought a house today. That was just good. And she is now committed to, and I am committed to this community. And the reason I'm committed is because I come to you as the son of a former Boston public school teacher. My father never wanted to be in politics. He wanted to help the little ones, the little kids, your children, your relative's children, your neighbor's children. And the reason he wanted to help them was because they had nobody to help them in the schools. He saw a lot of problems, he saw a lot of fear, he saw a lot of uh, challenges. And he did it without any help from anybody else. And I watched him and his dedicated friends do that for years and get beaten down. And I see it throughout life and throughout uh, our municipality in different areas. I feel that we need somebody from the streets who has seen this uh, firsthand uh, and who can work to bridge that gap. 
I also know what it is to struggle. Uh, to be honest, for the last three months, I've been unemployed. I'm one of the ones struggling. So every day I go to work trying to find a job, and I know how hard that is. I know how hard that is for most people out there. So I want to make that easier for the people. I want to make the opportunities easier, and I want to make things better in Dorchester. So I ask you for your vote. Not because a bunch of people are asking you to vote for me, but because I want to make this community better. Thank you. Good evening. Hi, my name is Frank Baker. I'm a candidate for City Council District 3. Uh, and again, thank Ward 13 and Ward 15 for having this, this event here tonight. Thank everybody for coming out. First of all, um, <clears throat> I was born in St. Margaret's Parish, I'm one of 13. Uh, I, live in, I live in Savin Hill now with my wife and two children, with my twin five-year-old boy and girl on their way to the Murphy School next year. I worked for the city boss for 25 years. 23 of those years I was in the print department. And 10 of those years were spent in, uh, as the head steward for the print department. I did all the negotiating, and, and unfortunately last year I negotiated our clothes. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very funny then, but uh, so those are some of the decisions that the, the, the city does, and I think we were closed on Philly. I have experience at the bargaining table, uh, so, so I know what working class families are going through. My family's a working class family. Dad worked for, railroad, for the railroad for 40 years. I know the value of a good pension. The middle class is under, is under assault. And we're being assaulted by people that, that are just like us. They're trying to take our health, our health benefits and our retirement away from us. With that, I'm actually on leave from the Amtrak now. When, when I left, when, <clears throat> when the printing department closed, I, I was unemployed for a while and I got on, I got on to Amtrak. <clears throat> when this opportunity happened, I took a leave of absence from Amtrak because I believe, I believe in myself first off, and I believe that the, that the sacrifice to, to leave your job for a little while and, and, and maybe lose a summer is well worth, well worth it to, to be an advocate for Dorchester because I believe that I can be the most effective advocate. I, I left so I could campaign for this job 100% of the time. And that's the way I plan on running my office, the way I am. I'm going to be your advocate 100% of the time. I, I was a small business owner, owned a restaurant on Dorchester Ave for eight years. Um, I, I've been involved in my community for a while. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> How you doing, excuse me. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, my name is Doug Bennett. I'm running to be your next city councilor for District 3. Excuse me for being late. I'm a, 35 years old, I'm a single father. Uh, my son, he actually, uh, he's 17 months old. Uh, he fell today at daycare and he, uh, he hurt his head. And uh, so I was with him all day and I was just giving him back to his mother and uh, so that's why I came a little late. So thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. The biggest thing is this, is that number one, uh, what makes me different than uh, my, my fellow competitors up here is that I'm the only one here that's been elected to uh, office. Uh, I moved to Massachusetts 10 years ago. I'm a farm boy from Pennsylvania. I happened to, uh, to work as a carpenter on Nantucket and out there I got elected as a selectman and county commissioner. Right? And although we had a uh, budget of only $80 million, uh, compared to $2.4 billion here in Boston, uh, it still gave me a, a good grasp of the mechanics of municipal government. Um, also, I believe that elected service and also, uh, you know, government work should not be a uh, lifetime job. I think that uh, 